Diane Evans with stampingwithdiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me, welcome. I'm so happy that you have found me. If you're joining me on YouTube, make sure that you're subscribed just down below. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And if you're joining me through Facebook, I'm so glad that you found me. So today it's Monday. This is my fancy fold or my 3D project. And I've decided to do a fancy fold. I don't know the name of the card. Um, lots of different people have done variations of this type of card. So, you know, I anything to do a fancy fold card is always, um, it's always lots and lots of fun. I do enjoy it. And I am using something that's new from the new um, on online exclusive. So let's go down to my desktop here. Hello, Judy. And hello, Maria. So I am using... Oh, excuse me, the Simply Zinnia um, set. Um, this is an online exclusive that goes live tomorrow. And um, it's also part of my um, Your Creativity Awaits uh, class that I'm sending out this month. Um, if you purchase the whole um, the whole suite, you get bonus projects. But you get six cards with the normal one. You get six cards, you get stamp set. And um, then you will also get, if you purchase the whole suite, you get the um, whole suite, that stands to reason, and also three extra projects. So I'm really, um, I'm, I'm excited about that one. It's, it's I, I like the additional projects. I like, I like the cards. It, it's just a great um, set. Anyways, um, beautiful things. Um, I don't know about you, but in our area that we live in, um, Zinnias grow amazing, especially when the hot sun comes out. Um, they can actually germinate within two days. So that's what I like about them. All right. And the different colors. The colors are amazing. Just remember that this is part of also of a live. So if I do talk with different people as we go along, that's that's just the part of the live. So if you don't like that, just make sure that you watch the replay. Just zip through all that part. And then... Um, then you won't be annoyed with that sort of stuff. If that's what annoys you. I honestly, I love it when people do join me live. I like that interaction um, and I appreciate them. Hello, Judy, Maria. I know I've said hello. And Dolores, good to see you back again. And Lila, awesome. So we are going to also use this designer series paper. Um, and I think this is, gonna, this is some quite nice paper. Um, but I'm going to match it up, and I wasn't sure what color I should do. I thought of flirty flamingo. I thought of um, the melon mambo doesn't go very well, um, but I wanted it to go with these three pieces of designer series paper. So that's the reasoning behind that. So let's just get going on this card. So you're going to need a piece that is four and a quarter by 11. And this is kind of like a book binder card with a bit of a variation. It's kind of like a Z fold card. Um, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to take this piece and we are going to score it at two and an eighth. Just get my score blade going. Two and an eighth, four and a quarter, and five and a half. And then we're also going to need another piece and I'm going to come with this piece here. It is going to be four and a quarter by three and one quarter. So we'll just cut that. We'll get that so it's all done. Oh, and you know what? I realized that I didn't get my basic white piece that I need. I usually have basic white sitting here on my table, but of course, no, because live so I'll just come in with the cardstock there's lots of different ways that we can actually decorate this particular card but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut this to go to the inside which will be four inches by um, one a quarter four inches but we'll cut it when I need it how's that Awesome. So let's get going on this card. So um, I'm going to fold in on my score lines here. 
Um, and if you do follow me, you probably have seen a bookbinder card. This will be the bookbinder part that we're going to attach down there, just like that. And then this is the Z fold part. So it's kind of like a bookbinder Z fold. So it's going to go like that. And I really like this, this style of a card. It's not my original card. I'll tell you that right now. It'll be my original card, but not my original fold. So we're going to do this like a book binder. So in this part here, I'm going to come in with the, the glue. You can use any adhesive depending on what you prefer. I do like the glue. I find it's, um, it's amazing. It, um, it's not going to come apart. I'll tell you that once you've got it together. So you kind of want it to be like that. Hello, Patsy. Oh, you've been watching a lot of my videos. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. And Marjorie. And hello, Polly from North Carolina. I know you're working with my friend Kelly on one of your on a project. So I'm excited to see how that goes for you. Awesome. Okay. So now on my designer series paper, um, some people call this a one, two, three. Z fold card. I call it a book binder Z fold card. So I think that totally, um, it's up to you what you call it. Now, this happens to be one inch by four inch. This piece is two inch by four inch, and this piece is three inch by four inch. And these are the pieces of designer series paper from the flowering zinnia. So I'm going to put this first piece on this front piece. This is that piece that we just cut off. You know what? I think the original one that kind of did one like this. Well, no, actually, I think she said she got it from somebody else. See, so you go give credit to somebody and you don't know who to give credit to. But the one that um, I did get the scoring measurements and everything from her name was it's really robinstamps.com. So, all right. So there is this piece and then there's this piece. Now, I thought this piece would be perfect going in right here. And then this piece is going to go on here. And that's why I need to know exactly what the amount of that amount is. And I would imagine it's going to be two inch by two inch by four inch, but we'll make sure. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put this piece of designer series paper on there. Now you could use either side. I'm not a big fan of this particular print. And I don't, I'm not sure why. Hello, Pam. So I kind of have I've lost something. Have I not lost it? I'm not sure. Um, can somebody let me know that everything is still OK with this? Because I happen to know my phone went and rang and that doesn't usually happen. I usually put it on do not disturb. And then this piece here is going to go right here. So if somebody can just let me know, oh, good. Everything's okay, Barbara? Okay, thank you. Then we're just going to go like this. Not sure why that even rang. So let's just put this right here. And up. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So then what I need to know is what that size is there. And that is going to be two inches by four inch. So I'm going to come in with my basic white and let's just cut that piece off right away. And then we've got that. So I'll cut the four inch part first and then I'll do the two inch can't believe how much white cardstock I go through in a month. All right. So then this piece is just going to butt right up to this part here. And that's the part that we're actually going to write on. Now, I don't know, maybe I might put one of these zinnia flowers on there. So I'm going to hold that back for just a bit. All right. 
so then this piece here we have to be careful because i want it to go like right in the middle of this part here so you know i think what we're going to do is i am actually going to i'm going to actually mark this if that is two inches there i think this is that's two and an eighth so that would be one and a sixteenth is the halfway mark, but this is three inches, so it'd be one and a half. So what I'm going to do, so I'm, whoops, this is, oh, this is three and a quarter. So the halfway mark on that one is one and seven eighths. Who says you don't do math? Nope, that's not one and seven eighths. Three, one and a half, one and five eighths. Let's go there, one and five eighths and one and five eighths. And then I'm just going to make sure that that's in the middle part there. So when I go to put this on, I'm going to go, well, that's not going to help me. I'm going to mark this. Now this is if you're really into it being that's two and an eighth, so that would be one and a sixteenth, and one and a sixteenth. So what I want to do when I go to put this on this piece here, I want to make sure that that piece lines up with that piece there, and then that will get me right in the middle. I know that seems like a long way about saying that, but I just want this piece here to be positioned in the middle here, all right? Ah, Cindy, thank you. So just gonna go put this here. You know what, that might be a little too close here. So, but it's going to line up. So I want this to be upright. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna line that part right there with this part right down there. And I mean, I could have eyeballed it Somehow I just don't trust myself today with eyeballing it. Hello, Denise from Winnipeg. How is it in Winnipeg? I haven't checked the weather in Winnipeg for the last little bit. So leaving a couple of days to go to Rotterdam. I do have a bunch of... Um, some videos that are pre-recorded. I will be live tomorrow at 4.30 with my technique. And this is part two of that other technique. So I'm hoping that you'd like that. So see how this works. This is a book binder, kind of a neat, different, kind of a fun fold, right? All right, so now what we have to do is we have to decorate this. Now we do have these dots. These dots are the Adhesive Fact Shiny um, sequins. But I also, oh dear, where did I put those? I cut out some circles, here we go, and some other stuff on here. So this is from the everyday, and then this one's from the scalloped, I mean from the contour, and I thought this would be really kind of nice to go just like that. I don't want any real flowers on here either. Um, but I do want some words on there. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to go like this. And I'm thinking this thanks so much would be really good. I like the font on there. It is a fun fold. We had a dump of snow last night. So did we, actually. I have to get out there and uh, um, shovel. Anybody comes over, I would say, please, please don't drive in my driveway. I want to get it shoveled before I do that. But I've been busy on Zooms and on, um, now what color is that? Is that like a berry burst? Let's try that. Um, and I'm putting that color on this petal pink. Oh, thanks, Cindy, for sharing. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so let's go here. Yep, that'll work. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to come back in my trimmer. 
I saw me, if you saw me the other day, you'll see that I was not very straight with my cutting. So I'm going to come in here and cut this. And my thought is I'm going to put this in the middle of this. So we'll come and cut that there. So yeah, looking forward to, I'm kind of getting packed up now. Um, the weather's a little bit like it is here, maybe a bit warmer. So, all right, so let's bring that back down. This is gonna go here, this goes here. And I thought this would be nice with it just like that. What do you think? Now, do we wanna put a bow on there? Um, I have a few things. There is this, which is the petal pink. You know, I could just go and just loop this like this. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. So I'm going to come in with my, oh, you know what? I took my seal. That's the trouble with um, packing up so early. I went, I have to take some seal with me, adhesive with me, and I went and I put it already in the suitcase. So how good is that? I, I'm i sure we're going to have a blast. Um, we had met a couple of German ladies in Vienna a couple of years ago, and we're going to hopefully meet up with them. There's a bakery that we, we're told that is just to die for, so um, that would be a good thing. We met up with them at a really nice bakery as well. So, all right, let's see what that looks like. If we don't like it, we can just always turn around and change it. All right, so I want that on there. I'm gonna put that right onto this card here. Just like that. And when I cut the circle out, I cut it out with this polka dot that matches there. Um, I think I'll put this straight on there as well. I think the worst part about the trip is the trip over, right? Because we actually were going to get to Amsterdam at 11.30 at night. And then, of course, we got the whole next day. Yeah, that'll look okay. I'm actually going to come in with my dimensionals with that. So when it's 11.30 Pacific time on the 6th, hopefully we have landed by then. So. Oh, I know what I need to take too, is I need to take my bone folder with me. All right, so this is just going to go on here like this. Nice fold. Now I'm going to actually put that in there as well. Um, I'm going to leave it blank. I'm not going to put anything on there. Um, that way I've got lots of um, space to write on. The flight is um, just over nine hours, um, but we have to get from Kamloops to um, Calgary first. I think with the layover and everything, they say 12 hours. We leave at 11.10 Pacific time, and then we get in at 11.30. So about just over 12 hours with layovers and all that sort of stuff. Now, I, let's see. No, you know what? I'm going to use these really pretty ones here. And take another and just put it right down there. So, pretty simple card, right? So, this is one inch by four inch, three inch by four inch, and two inch by four inch, and then it just folds like that. It's a book binder card. Now, if we wanted to, I guess we could have put some, um, some ribbon on the book binder part, but I think that works just well, just as well. So give that one a try. I, you know, it's fairly simple. Um, and um, we'll go from there. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Judy.
Yeah, the zinnias are bright and cheery, that's for sure. Um, yeah. All right, so um, tomorrow I will be live at 4.30 Pacific time with the technique, and then I will have my other two techniques for while I'm gone. I will be doing lots of blog posts um, with different ideas, and hopefully they're going to um, transport over to my Facebook um, page and, and um, group. Um, now with um, Facebook changing um, and I'm not sure which ones are working. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work, that sort of stuff. So then I won't be back until the 20th. So I'll be live on the 21st with my Now What series, as long as things work out okay coming back. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, Marjorie asked, where do we meet up with Malva? We meet up in Calgary. She's leaving at 5.30 in the morning in Lorraine, and I don't leave till 11 o'clock in the morning. That's the scary part is our 11 o'clock one. So that's the one that um, worries me. Thanks, Joy. We will be safe um, as, long as, um, as long as we follow directions and make sure we get on the right trains, right? <laughs> awesome, you guys. So um, if you like that, give me the thumbs up, share my video. I really do appreciate it. And if you do live in Canada and don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to work with you. If you have any questions, at all, just reach out and um, we will talk to you soon. Remember to create because it's great for the soul. Bye for now.